A special atmosphere and a grand occasion. One the players and fans alike have been anticipating in the tension-laden days leading up to this fixture. But now the talking has to stop and the football must take over. Who's going to emerge victorious? It's a hard question to answer. We'll have the action on EA TV. I must say, if you ever get the chance to visit the stadium, the Estadio Presidente Perón, take it. It's majestic. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's Norway, and they take on Spain. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. So we can check on the lineup today. Well, I'm just a little worried. They might be too negative here. They're certainly going to be hard to break down with that five-man midfield. But will they have enough going the other way? I'm not sure. Here's the lineup for Spain. As Billy Quentin starts with Gaia in the fullback positions, and the main striker today is Morata. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent, and in one v one situations, you always expect him to score. Very good tackle. Moving into the advanced position. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Gaia. Marino. Superbly read and executed. Gabby and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end well that's eye catching wide play to take the lead and it's in 1-0 they've reached the defence well here's the replay and I have to say the keeper's got his angles all wrong there that's a poor piece of goalkeeping So underway again here, one nil the score. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, offside by rather a lot. Miguel Marino, Pedri, it's with Miguel Marino, Lenormand, Miguel Marino, lovely work to get past his man, this could be the equaliser, but oh, what an important save, how about that? Well at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there, they should be level now. Good tackle. Alexander Surlot, offside for decision. <laughs> Rodri, Aspili Quetta, plenty of options. Marino. 
good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Morata. Now Holland. Now counter attacking possibilities. Well, let's see about the cross. Looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Well, the referee allowing the play to flow. Opportunity it is. And he's got a score to level us again. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace and transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and Morata does the rest. He strikes it so cleanly, there's no stopping that one. So the ball is rolling again at 1-0. Berg. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Julian Riosom. That is that for the first half here. Well, he's not going to be getting high marks for this performance, Marco Asensio. Usually does, of course, Stuart. Well, as the touch map shows us, he hasn't been getting into the right areas to cause damage. He's such a good player around the box, but not today. He's been disappointed. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Well, nothing productive, really. Opening up for them, and a blind cross. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Spot on for that challenge. Asensio. Played into the box. And a goal this time! Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score, what's going to happen next? Rodri. Nicely timed tackle. Berg. It's with Erdogan. Diazov. And teammates to play it to. He's given us away. And into the last 30 minutes now. And a play and a Spain throw in forthcoming. And time for the change now. Pedri. The ball with Rodri. Just cutting off the supply. A pot. Lenormand. Thank you. 
Now with Morata. Mikel Marino. And they look as though they want to make this move count. Can he finish? And it's gone in. The teams are separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. Distributing it well. Good looking sequence. And they could eat into the lead. And there it is! Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, just take another look at this because the one two to get behind the defense is superbly worked. And then Holland finishes it with such quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top class goal from a top class player. You can't really say defenses are on top. 3 2. Laporte. Kedri. And into the last 15 minutes of action. Rodri. Carvajal. And angling it back. Oh, great defending. Holland. Chance maybe to use the counter-attacking ability to good effect. Let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Underway once more, level at 3-3. Gabby. On the attack, is there to be late excitement? No spillage from the goalkeeper, routine. Frederik Aursnes. And a tidy challenge. Aursnes. Going well. That really should have been the winner, but what a good save that is. that is second to none. This looks promising. And they push ahead in the closing stages. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be all so important. past the keeper, that's a top-class finish. And 
There goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way as far as the home fans are concerned. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me. And obviously a disappointing result. But the key thing is they bounce back now and they can't afford the repeat performance. And in the final analysis, Morata did his job. How would you sum up his contribution? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.